Welcome to Hobby Hot Tips. I'm going to be painting a Dark Angels Terminator and making it into a Wolf Guard Space Wolf Terminator. So first I'm going to do a base coat of the Fang um, and I'm using my airbrush. If you'll notice the pelt is made out of green stuff. Uh, we do offer a pattern that you can get online at HobbyHotTips.com. It's an easy way you can cut your own pelts and we're gonna have more pelts and cool capes and other things available soon. And now I'm going to use my airbrush again and do another coat of Furnius Gray. Just trying to do the highlighted areas so it looks like the uh, sun is hitting them over top. I'm basing the pelts in Battlefield Brown. That's P3's Battlefield Brown. Just covering the pelts on the legs and also on the shoulders and back. And now I'm going to be dry brushing in P3's bootstrap leather around the edges and the top of the pelt. And now I'm using a 1 4th brush with whiskers on the end to give it kind of a hairy look. And I'm using Beast Hide, P3's Beast Hide, to try and give it a nice look. Now I'm coming in with Manoff White Base with the same brush. And then I'm finishing off with Manoff's White Highlight. And I finish off with a wash of Seraphim Sepia. Just to tie in the browns, and then I use Monoth White to kind of clean up the claws. And then I do the same color pattern on the leg pelts. Now I'm using P3's Hull Gray to give color to all the metal and um, hose pieces. And all the metal on the uh, gun that I'd like to appear to have metal, the sights. And also the clip, the barrel the back part of the knees, um, inside the elbows, uh, everything I need gray, that's my base color that I like to use. And you can't forget the small vents that are on the heels. Um, on the face I decided to just do the lower portion of the face with black, later I'll come in, or with gray, later I'll come in with black. Little vents that are on top of his head. And now I'm starting to paint the yellow colors. With that I like to use uh, Everlin Sunset, but I like to water it down. It can gum up if you use it straight from the bottle, so I just use one part water and one part paint to give it a nice finish. And so when you water down the paint, obviously you have to do more than one coat in those areas, but it's, it's worth it if you've ever tried to just paint these base colors on uh, without diluting them. It gives a pretty uh, warped looking uh, surface so it's good to water these down um, for a nice clean look. I'm doing this with a liner brush. Uh, it's a good brush to use this with because you can keep a lot of um, paint in the brush as you keep going over coat after coat and uh, it's good to do all of these areas at once because by the time you paint one um, or two areas the other one has dried so you can continue putting on coats on all the pieces until you get a nice solid color. Next I'm going to use the same liner brush and I'm going to paint the scrolls on his belt with P3's Minoth White Highlight. Um, there's quite a few on them. There's also one near his power fist there that you can't forget. And then we'll finish uh, some other shades up later. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the same liner brush and I'm going to use P3's Black to fill in all the black areas. Um, on the gun, I was gonna. Also, you saw at the beginning there, I did the part of his face mask, so it looked like he had a black nose, kind of like a wolf. And here we go with with P3's Kador Red, and we're painting his power fist. And I was gonna try something a little different with this. I've never tried before, and use a brown ink after I base it uh, to give it a, a nice shading effect on the power fist. Um, and it turned out pretty good, but uh, before we do that, we're going to now go in with gray again. There were some gray areas I didn't quite catch, 
And now we're going to do some dry brushing on the yellow. What I used for dry brushing was Signar Yellow. That's P3 Signar Yellow. Next, we're using P3's Cold Steel to dry brush all the hard metal edges so it looks like metal is peeking through the um, painted armor and the painted gun. Now I'm using a 10 over 0 brush and putting the black on the spikes that are coming out of the power fist. And coming up, I'm using P3's brown ink to cover the power fist, and it gave it a really nice look. I'm using P3's armor wash to get in all the crevices uh, of the armor. Um, that light blue kind of washes out some of the detail, so I run that over uh, the hands, the guns, the hoses, and that way we get all of the inner crevices of the model to um, sink in and you can see them and brings out all of the detail of the model. And a hop tip for you out there that get too crazy with wash, sometimes you need a big dry brush just to soak up some of that uh, wash that might overclog some of those crevices. And also a brown wash on the scrolls. There are certain parts of the model I want to be black, but to achieve that look I actually will paint them uh, gray, then use a black wash. I'll use P3's Molten Bronze to do a base coat for all the things I want to have a gold shiny look to them. Followed by dry brushing solid gold on the tops of the wings. Now I'm coming back to those parts that we want to look um, black, but I painted them uh, gray, so now we're going to do multiple coats of black wash, and that way it'll give it a nice black look, but we'll see some edges raising through with a gray blending effect. Since this model is now a wolf guard and not a Dark Angel Terminator, I'm going to use black and paint a pattern that signifies that he is a wolf guard. It'll also cover up the logo of the Dark Angel, so that way it looks a little more like it is a model made for the army. I'm using Monoth White Highlight to get the little skull that's on top of his head. I'll come and uh, give it a nice wash and then dry brush it with Marrow White. And then I'm going to use Ethereum Blue to dry brush around the armor. It's a great dry brush that Citadel makes and it really gives a nice pop to uh, Space Wolf Blue. Um, definitely get it and use their dry brushes as well. Um, it's a very thick paint. Uh, it's almost like a jelly, but um, it only shows up on the sharp edges and sur sharp surfaces of your model. Now I'm dry brushing the Power Fist with Kaor Red on the top edge. For the eyes and lenses, I'm using Kador Red Base, and I'm just getting, working it in there to give it a nice cover. And also the scroll seal. Hit it with some armor wash and also to use that armor wash to clean up around the eyes. I'm dry brushing to get more details back in the face. Now I'm going to dry brush the scrolls that are on his belt. Using Kedor Red Highlight now to um, accentuate the eyes and lenses. And I'm also going to use some on the seal. Now I'm hitting it with armor wash again. Now I'm um, doing the text on the scrolls, just using a small brush and carefully doing little lines across, kind of making them a little squiggly so it looks like handwriting. And then just dotting the eyes and the lenses with a little bit of white. And uh, sometimes you may go a little crazy with the white. If you have a white dry brush, you can soak that up. And then we're also going to use Armor Wash again to finish the deal. Well, if you've had fun, like us, subscribe, and check out our green stuff patterns at HobbyHotTips.com.